Adler. He's endorsed Hillary Clinton. Congressman, it's good to see you. Good to see um, you. The problem is real. Uh, Donald Trump, yes, the celebrity, yes, the media hype, but him grabbing this issue with both hands catapulted his candidacy early on. It's a problem. People think not enough has been done. Uh, and that is the momentum here. Isn't that a fact that there is a real problem? It hasn't been handled the way it needs to be. Well, I don't know that. Uh, there is a problem, but we have been a lot of uh, we have been doing a lot of things. Uh, unfortunately, deportations under this administration are way up from what they were before. We have increased our border security uh, uh, um, budget, I think, by something like 1,400 percent in the last... Well, you say unfortunately. Why unfortunately? Because I don't think there are... I think there have been too many deportations. But that's a different question. But we have, we have been enforcing the law much more rigorously than previously. But you still have, by a shallow estimate, about six million people in this country who have criminal records of one kind or another that are well, undocumented. I think, that, I, I think six million is way, way overboard. Um, you can get up. Well, no, wait, the question wait, was how. Six how, million is overstayed visas okay. and the criminal stuff. But so let's play with that number because. But the, 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 but that's a lot know, of people, you know. The number of people with any kind of serious crimes is in the tens of thousands, not the millions. Number one. Number two, um, this kind of scapegoating. I mean, Donald Trump made it sound and makes it. I mean, he's scapegoating immigrants. He's making it sound like you have millions of, of illegal immigrants. Uh, uh, undocumented aliens who are criminals running around, rapists, murderers. He had people there who were vi whose kids were, were victims. But the fact is that undocumented aliens commit less crime, fewer crimes per capita than Native American, than, than, than people who are here. It is not. Immigration enforcement may be a problem, but it is not a criminal problem because the people who are here uh, without documents commit crimes at a much lower rate or a substantially lower rate than people who are here. Look, I, we, we've heard this argument also that what happened to Katie Steinle uh, is the exception, not the rule, uh, that that's an unfair you standard take, to, to point out. Could. But you still have six million people who have cheated the system and are here. How is that a way of looking at it as success? Let me, let, let me just say this. This kind of bigoted approach, you could take five or six people whose kids were victimized by Jewish criminals or Irish criminals or black criminals or Italian criminals and say the Italians or the Jews or the blacks or somebody else is the problem. That is appealing to rank bigotry. Uh, you're scapegoating uh, the, the, the foreigners, especially the Mexicans who are here, and saying they're the cause of the crimes. They're not. Do you think that Hillary Clinton should have gone to Mexico? Well, I think as, as Secretary of State, she was in Mexico many times, and she was in a lot of other... But do you think it was uh, a mistake for her to allow Trump to play to advantage going down there and I don't, um, I making don't... this appeal that he can be presidential? No. I mean, the, the fact is that um, um, he went down there because he has shown no uh, ability to be presidential. He, he made a... Uh, uh, try to sound reasonable for a few minutes with the president of Mexico, and then get, comes back here and makes a blood-curdling speech being as irresponsible and as uh, um, um, uh, bigoted as ever. Why is it bigoted? It's bigoted because you're blaming a group of people for larger crimes. It's exactly the same thing as uh, the fascists did in Europe. Uh, the problems are all because of the Jews. Here the problems are all because of the Mexicans. The problems are all because of the Irish in the 1850s in an in, in, in anti-immigrationist uh, 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 an anti theory in the 1840s and 50s. The no not things, it was all the problems the country's being destroyed by the Irish immigrants. It's the same thing. You blame all the problems on a group of people who are not responsible for those problems. I mean, yes, there are people who commit crimes who are here illegally, who are here improperly, but most crimes are committed by people who are here. Another stick that he swung during his speech last night was about uh, Clinton's own problems uh, with the law. Uh, obviously, he's talking about the foundation. He's talking about the emails. Do you believe that she's handled that situation? Uh, well enough, or do you believe that's why it's dogging her in the polls? Well, I think she's done what she could. About the email, she said she made a mistake. She's apologized for that. And there's nothing else you, you can say, really. Um, the FBI investigated, said that there were no crimes. Um, and that's it. Now, the fact of the matter is the Republicans, and Trump in particular these days, but the Republicans for 30 years have been bringing up alleged scandal after scandal, Whitewater, Travelgate, Benghazi, that have proven after millions of dollars of investigations not to be anything. She did nothing wrong in Benghazi. She did nothing wrong in those other things. 
But you throw enough mud against the wall, some people get the basic impression she's untrustworthy. You're not concerned by the foundation overlap with what happened as Secretary of State? Well, I think that the foundation has now announced uh, 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 extraordinary steps uh, that will happen starting immediately, but to, especially if she's elected president. The foundation, remember, is a foundation. I mean, Trump said that, that she's benefiting from this, that, that there's pay to play. The foundation is not an income producing thing. The foundation has, has, has been a tremendous charitable benefit, saved millions of lives of people of AIDS and, and, and other things in Africa and other places. And has she met with people who are donors to the foundation? Yes. As Secretary of State, she meets with a lot of people. She met with Elie Wiesel. He's a donor to the foundation. She met with a Nobel Pri Peace Prize winner. I think it was Peace Prize, Nobel Prize winner, mm -hmm. who's, a donation to, uh, who's a donor to the foundation. They're donating to a major charity, and she would meet with these people in any event. Mm -hmm. Congressman Jerry Nadler, appreciate you making the case from the Clinton perspective. Thank you. It's good to have you here. Allison.